So I was online looking at different uh, tools in Illustrator, and I noticed this logo on abduzidu.com, and I, I liked it. It reminded me of the Chrome logo, and so I tried making one myself, and I came up with this and also this design. They're, they're very close to the same, and I'm going to show you how, today how to make something like this. It, it's not that difficult to really do. Uh, so let's go to File New, and I'm going to do Landscape Orientation, and you should be on RGB. If you don't see this, you got to tap that little triangle and screen resolution is just fine. All right, and first thing I'm going to do is hold down the rectangle tool and get to the ellipse tool and hold shift. I want a perfect circle, so that's why I hold down shift. And then I need to copy and paste it. And I'm going to make a circle a little bit smaller, or you can just draw a new circle, not a big deal. And then also I'm going to kind of make it more of an oval shape like that, okay? Um, I actually need four of these, so I'm going to copy and paste, paste, paste. So I actually have four of these here, smaller circles. And if I highlight all of them, what happens is over here the alignment tab, I have all these alignment tools. Or if you have multiple objects selected, there should be this bar up here with these alignment tools. So I'm going to do horizontal alignment and also vertical alignment. Okay. And when I move these, I'm going to start moving them and hold down shift and that way they I want them to line up all the way to the edge. So I start moving it, tap shift, and then continue on. Now, this bottom and top one, though, is a little bit different. Um, what I'm going to have to do is rotate those as well. So I'm going to select it. If, as long as I'm on the selection tool, this bounding box should show up. And I'm going to hold on shift and rotate it 90 degrees, and then drag down to the bottom. Same thing with this one as well. So 90 degrees and up to there. There, should look like that. That was the most difficult part. Now I'm going to select this. Let me show you something else too, by the way. If I hit Control Y, it shows all the lines. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's that's the design underneath. Now if, if you want yours to look a little different, this one, I'm going to show you how to do this one exactly. You see along the edge, it's just four colors. You'll see on this one, there's actually multiple colors, and there's some on the edge as well. Um, if you want to do that, you just need to keep this space up here, um, but you know, mess around with this. If yours isn't the same, it's, it's going to be fine. So I'm going to select all of these and go over to Pathfinder, and there's this tool. It's called Divide, and basically anything overlapping gets cut up. So now it looks like this instead. Now, when I it doesn't let me select individual pieces anymore. I have to double click in there, and that way it shows me that I'm in the group now, and then I can edit those individual pieces. I don't really want to have it in a group right now, so I can click back. I can just double click in the white area so this thing's gone. What I can do instead is I can just right click ungroup, okay? And then I can just grab these individual points, all right? Um, so I am going to start at the top here with this piece right here. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select these points. So this one, this one, this one, this one. And that's the shape that I'm going for, okay? So I'm going to start with, uh, I'll start with red on top, and see all these are red, and then I'm going to use this button right here, it's called Unite, and you can see now it's just that swoosh right there, okay? And then I'm going to repeat the process with some different colors. So the next one's going to be yellow, and I'm going to press Unite again, oops, not Divide, Unite, and same thing again. And you could choose different colors than what I'm using. Oops, I didn't mean to choose that one, though. That's okay. <clears throat> you can choose different colors. Um, you know, use whatever you want. Some people just pick two colors and two different shades, and that, that'd look fine, too. Um, oh, I don't mean to be selecting that one. Ah, it thinks it's grouped. No, it's not grouped. What's going on? Oh, it's not split right there. That's a problem. And this is okay to point out. I just want to show that uh, I wasn't actually over it, so it didn't actually cut the pieces the way I wanted. But it's better now, so I'm going to zoom back out here. I had to pause it for a moment. All right, so I'm going to select this piece, this one, this one, this one. And that's going to be my last color. I'm going to use blue. And then I should also unite those. Um, I didn't unite these, so I can go back, select those, unite. Why aren't you uniting? All right, it must think it's together. So I'm gonna ungroup that. Let's try that again. So selecting those, unite. 
There we go. Um, had problems with that, so I just grabbed my other logo quick. So that's what you should have, though, after you have them united and separated. Uh, usually, they actually have the stroke on. Um, that doesn't look as good typically. So I would recommend always turn the stroke off, especially if you want it to be, um, you know, more 3D looking. So keep the stroke off. And then what we need to do is apply gradients. So actually, if I just highlight all those and just hit the gradient button, um, it's going to look like that, which which is fine. Um, then I'm just going to grab individual ones. And if I open up my gradient tablet here, um, so like I started with red. So I'm going to put in red for white. And then it's, I could keep black over here. And I could just use my gradient tool and just have the black be farther in like that. Uh, if I go like this, you can see it, it's actually black. Um, I just want it to be slightly black. So I could go like that or something like that. And notice on this toolbar, there's actually a slider right here. Um, that's that white little dot right there. And I can slide how much of the red I want to show or, or whatever else. Um, I can go with that or if I want I could actually just drop down another red down here and I could double click on that red and choose you know a darker red. Instead of using black I could just pull that black out of there. Uh, I'm gonna let you choose whichever way you want to do. Um, it's probably better to choose a red instead of having it go to black. Um, that's that's up to you though. And then I'm gonna do the same for like the yellow. Um, we don't actually want yellow though. We want to keep a gradient, so I'm gonna drop the yellow down into here. And um, instead of black, I'm gonna put another yellow down there. But I'm gonna get rid of this yellow, and I can double click on this yellow here, and I can choose um, a darker yellow by going to the bottom here. Or um, I have swatches there too, but um, yeah, I just I don't like how it gets to be kind of a poopy looking color. So instead, I'm gonna take this the lighter one, okay, and I'm actually gonna just choose it, this one to be considerably lighter. All right, and then I use my gradient tool, and I want to change the direction. Uh, I want it to be darkest in the middle. So you know, if I go like that, oops, wrong direction. There we go. Maybe more like that. Okay, cool. Um, get it the way you want, though. Uh, and then again, I'm going to do green. Now, if you understand this concept fully, just just move on. Don't need to uh, watch all four of these. I'm just choosing colors here. Um, again, I could double-click this one and make this one a deeper green. All right. And again, I can use my gradient and my slide from the outside in like that. And then for the last one, it's blue. Oops. I can drag that blue down here. Or I could even drag, you know, grab this navy blue, get rid of the white, and go like that instead. And again, I'm going to use my gradient tool to uh, draw that. Now that's actually not really blue. It's kind of getting on the purplish side. Um, you know, I can just use my color picker too and just pick a darker a darker blue in there as well. And then my gradient tool, you know, adjust this however I want. That looks, that looks pretty good. There. So there's my logo. Looks pretty good that way. Um, you know, if you just bring in some text, like I have this, I drew this earlier. You know, this could be like, oh, snap productions or something. Um, cause, you know, uh, so that looks pretty good. Um, I'd be satisfied with that. Now, one thing I should say is, you know, some people rather have these separated. Uh, I think it looks more over 3D like it's a single object, but you could put a stroke on it. You could do a black stroke and then increase the weight. Um, that doesn't really look good to me, though. <laughs> Instead of what black, use white, and then it kind of separates it. That doesn't look bad. I think you'd have to maybe make it a little thicker to be noticeable. Um, that looks kind of cool like that. Um, the other thing you could do is, instead of using that type of stroke, you could drop it down to this artistic looking one. And you see it kind of gives it like a rough look. Um, you know, and you could inc increase the stroke so you can actually see a little better. I don't know if that matches my text very well, um, but that, that's an option. Um, you could also drop this down and open up your open brush library. And they have things like bristle brushes. And I could choose something like this. It's gonna take a second. Kind of gives a sheen to it. 
Um, they have a whole bunch of different ones in there that you could try out. Um, again, I'd have to probably put a gradient or some sort of uh, shine on my O-snap for that to work. And I can just show that quick. Um, all you need to do is, like, let's say I take an oval here and I put it on top. Okay. And I make this oval white. And I can click transparency. And I can drop that down to, like, 40. Okay. And if I just click off it, you can see that looks pretty good. See, it's kind of got its own little shine on there. Um, you could even maybe rotate a little bit. Kind of gives a, a look like that on there as well. Um, and I could also, oops, sorry about that. And, and I could just leave it like that. Um, but I, I kind of like it the way it was, so I'm just going to undo that. You can keep that the way it is. Um, but that's how you could, oops. But uh, I like it like that myself. Um, Hope you learned a lot. Again, if you'd rather have it look like one of these other ones, then you just got to pick a little bit different shapes. But uh, there you go. Enjoy.